Hi guys, Two Foot Giant. I'm actually in the lab at work today, um, doing this on my phone, so I'm not going to make this very long at all, and quite honestly, I mean, I'm always hopeful for a company, but uh, I don't have much of an outlook on this one. We got the samples in for Golden Age juice. Um, take a look at it. It's actually, it actually seems to be a second line from the guys that brought Ragnarok, the uh, one that I actually reviewed on my show and just seemed to bomb the juice that they made. So this one, it's three different juices, and I'll get them arranged in order here. Golden Age, which is a mixture of berries. Silver Age, which is a mixture of wild berry and lychee with a hint of vanilla. And then the Bronze Age, which is a, a custard with strawberry and red grapes. They all seem about like right, you know, next up to each other. But uh, running this on my cloud pour because my PV4 is in temp control and out on the table. Um, this is my Doge X2. I just got two wraps on there at 0.39. Brand new cotton. I just wicked it. Um, now, come really, really wide mouth bottles, no drippers or anything, so I'm using pipettes here. I am not going to be drowning these coils, just because, like I said, I just want to put through a little tester here, see how these do. So I'm just going to put a little dot on each one, I'm not going to try to really even drown the wick itself. So this one is Golden Age a mixture of berries. No, actually this isn't all that bad. If it was a little thicker, I might actually vape it. Put a little more on here. See if I can actually get some flavors out of it. It's really subtle. I'll give them that. Little hints of a blueberry, maybe a blackberry in there somewhere. Darker berries. It is clouding a little better than Ragnarok did. A lot better than Ragnarok did, actually. So I'm not going to rewick. I'm just gonna dry us out. That's why I'm just uh, putting a little bit on the coils. I'm not actually trying to drown out. So let's move on to Silver Age, which is a wild berry lychee and a hint of vanilla. I mean, again, on the guys, I mean, I will give it to them. The uh, concept art on the labels it does look really nice I will give them that the concept art on Ragnarok looked fantastic just uh, if you didn't catch my show it seemed like they decided okay well we're gonna put the bottles for this juice here but we're gonna put the labels on this line over here and they just didn't match up their flavor to the guy None of them made a whole lot of sense. This one, they kind of, all three of them are kind of berry. So I do get a hit of vanilla on the intake, along with some strawberry. The lychee is actually really light on it. A 
very, very light on it. But, uh, very in vanilla, you can get pretty clearly out of that one. Not too much lychee at all. Lychee, if you don't know, it's kind of like a really, really strong white grape kind of flavor. And I'm doing these at 60 watts, so it's not uh, not getting to the point where it's going to be burning my cotton and changing the flavors at all. I've done this way too many times. So let's go. This one's Bronze Age, which is a strawberry custard with a hint of red grape. Let's see how this one works out. So far, Silver Age was the best one. Oh yeah, the strawberries right out front. Custard is smooth all the way through. Not getting any real red grape at all. Cloud does happen to be seeming like it's a lot more on the Bronze Age. But this one, I mean, the, uh, the strawberry, the custard, it's good. The strawberry could be a little bit stronger. All in all, actually, since, uh, I mean, the Ragnarok might have bothered me a lot more because of what it was being, you know, based on gods and nothing even remotely reminding me of the gods that were on the labels and those juices. They stepped up their game a little bit on this one. It's actually not all that bad. Um... Honestly, I mean, I might actually try it, guys. Uh, Golden Age Juice. It's uh, goldenagejuice.com. I don't know the pricing. I haven't looked any of that up. Uh, we got them in, opened the box, and said, hey, you know, this came from a company I've already reviewed their juices on. And, guys, I'm sorry I didn't do uh, videos on YouTube for the Ragnarok juices, honestly. I mean, y'all know me, I'm honest. They didn't deserve their own videos. So I did them on the stream. Um, guys, this one I'd actually try. So go out and get you some. Later.